on in. My office is a little small, but I think uh, there's enough room in here for you to join me. Hi. Welcome to my office here at Penn State Worthing and Scranton's campus. But as you all know me here on the online world, I'm a world campus faculty member with an IST. And this is the place that I, uh, I could be found time to time, but uh, you'll also find me roaming around the region as I coordinate the internship program and also as I run around this campus and I see some of my students working in the actual physical labs. I also like to find other places where I can uh, get online here on campus and interact with all my world campus students. So what I thought I'd do right now is give you a, a video, a uh, little overview of who I am and, and really my background. My background is a sorted background and, and it kind of matches the feel of IST. IST was started over 10 years ago when the Fortune 500 companies came to Penn State University and asked them to start creating a professional that was a little bit different than what we had, had produced prior to that, all those many decades before that. I am a Penn State alumni uh, of this campus and then ultimately of the university. I have my advanced degree from Webster University out of St. Louis, Missouri. But while uh, here at Penn State, I studied computer science math. And it's where, it's that point in time, uh, we were talking about the late or mid 1980s, where technology was much different. When I came to this campus, there was a mainframe type computing system. There were no per personal computers. And the personal computers that were available were quite expensive. I was intrigued by technology because I was an Atari 2600 guy. I loved to play video games and I wanted to make them. Little did I know that the curriculum wasn't really designed to build uh, game programmers. I continued to go through the classes and graduated from Penn State where I then took a commission with the United States Marine Corps. As you can see my flags here behind me. And I served on active duty uh, for the better part of seven years and then I continued into the reserves for another five years, so I served a total of 12 years in the Marines. And some of you who are veterans may be asking, well, why did you get out? For me, it was just time, and I was looking for a change, and it was right after 9-11, I think it was right around 2002, that I decided to uh, leave the military and pursue a little bit more aggressively my career. So that brings me here to Penn State University, where I love technology. I love to be able to teach it. I love to be able to do it, as I call it, building stuff. And I found myself doing more and more for the internet than I have for the legacy type programming. When I was an undergrad, we studied languages like Fortran, Watt 5, Pascal, uh, eventually C. And then we, you know, started to see this new internet technology come aboard, come about, and I really was enthralled by it. I really loved the idea of the immediacy of it, the graphical nature of it, and ultimately directly serving a customer. Where some of you who have information systems background might know that you can't, you're not always serving the customer. So that is my background. I am a geek at heart. I love technology. I'm a big Star Wars fan, as you can see here, my son picture with next to an R2D2 uh, mailbox that we had found in the Scranton, uh, downtown Scranton area. Over. Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. And uh, I'm a big fan of uh, the science fiction era. I'm not an expert in it by any means, but I do enjoy it, and that's what really compels me or propels me to you know always learn new technology things. So as you are coming into IST, many of you are probably trying to figure out, like, really, what is your career going to be like? You, if you took IST 110, you got a chance to dabble in it. If you took IST 220, you're going to see, or 210, you're going to get to see databases. Eventually, you'll see Java programming. Eventually, you'll see project management. You'll see app development at some point for the mobile world. You'll see some more web development pieces, too. So there's a lot of courses that are going to give you a feel for or a taste of what that is. But back to me, since you're in my office and you came here to see me, I am a father of three. I have a teenage daughter who is uh, coming to the end of her junior year, and I also have a nine and a ten-year-old, a uh, nine-year-old boy and a ten-year-old daughter. So I keep myself uh, very busy with their activities from baseball to gymnastics to uh, working hard in school. They are uh, the love of my life and also, you know, everything my life revolves around right now. I also have a consulting business where I do try to stay current with what is taking shape in the world. So when you look at me, I'm not necessarily the stereotypical professor that does research for the university and, and that's their primary focus. My charge is really to stay engaged with the community and I do that on a variety of levels from judging computer contests 
to doing consulting work, advising work in a variety of technologies, and then ultimately making sure people understand what we are trying to do with an IST. I have no doubt in my mind that we as a nation have to produce more IT workers so we can keep uh, researching and developing new technologies to stay on the edge. But the world is changing and we're finding fewer students passionate or interested in technology. Well, I hope to change that. So that's my me in a nutshell and a little bit about my interests. I, I like to stay in shape, I like to bike, I like to run, get to the gym. I love to be able to be outside. However, this spring some season has been brutal and as I sound a little nasally, my allergies are kicking into full gear. That fun. I uh, also like to be at the beach whenever I can and I think that's a great place to free your mind and, and relax. So at one point during our course, you will probably be hearing from me from the beach uh, as I vacation and keep in touch with the class. If there's anything you would ever uh, say that would describe me, it's that I like to keep in motion. And I like to learn. I like to teach. I like to engage the students. I also like to challenge. And with that being said, if you look at this bookshelf and behind me, this, this crazy paper mess, we are always in a learning mode in, in technology. And I like that. I know there's challenges that still await me. And that's what I love about this field. And I hope you feel the same way. So that's me in a nutshell. And I hope that our time together here online will be a very good experience for you. I have no doubt about that. And then going forward, if you ever need me for anything, you can know you can always reach uh, reach out to me via email, texting, if there's anything I could ever do for you. Thank you very much.